All right, Cavalier Insider Week 2 wrap-up. I guess this was, what, ABC Wild World of Sports, thrill victory, uh, the agony of defeat. Virginia somehow, some way, uh, takes down Penn State 17-16 at Scott Stadium. Andrew Anspire joined by John Shiflett and, uh, and Jerry Ratcliffe. And Jerry, we'll start with you. I guess, uh, you know, question we're asking everybody, have you caught your breath yet? Obviously, uh, kind of a thrilling ending, uh, one that didn't go the way of Penn State, the one that went Virginia's way with a fourth missed field goal from the Lions. Yeah, when you, were, when you said agony of defeat, it's more like agony of the foot. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this ain't my first rodeo. I've seen a few of these, but it was a pretty enthralling uh, way to win a football game. And uh, I, you have to feel good for Michael Rocco being able to come back in after being essentially benched and, uh, and engineering an 86-yard winning drive with a third and 16 in his own territory staring him in the face. That, Takes a lot of guts and a lot of confidence and, and some pretty good play. And, uh, you know, I, I've said it again. I think Rocco's the guy. I think he's, uh, I think he's solid and he's a winner. And, uh, it's lightning. <laughs> we'll take cover here shortly. But uh, you mentioned the offense. Everybody's going to talk about, you know, you look at the struggles. There was one great drive at the end. How about that third and 16? Rocco in his own territory. Throws it up in the air down the field. Jake McGee, who had a great spring, a one-handed catch against Richmond uh, last week, and then comes through again with not only that catch at midfield, it sets up a touchdown, the winning touchdown, uh, later on in the drive to seal things. So. Yeah, Jake McGee told Coach Bull Lazer when he got here when he converted from quarterback to tight end that he wanted to be the next Keith Miller, and he's he's got a ways to go, but he's off to a pretty nice start. You know, he had that ESPN highlight catch last week. He had several big catches today. He caught two uh, big third down conversions to first downs, and he had the winning catcher sitting down in the zone with with a big catch. So. He looks like he's going to be a focal point of the offense here going forward. And, you know, the tight end last year was kind of missing from the Virginia passing game, but it looks like it's sort, certainly reemerging here with Jake McGee. And Jake McGee, four catches, 99 yards. Of course, the two biggest, the one down the field, the last drive, and the touchdown. Uh, there's some positives from this. Obviously, the win. There's also some, some negatives, Hootie. Uh, you look at this offensive line, I guess for the second straight week, really not much running game. And quarterbacks, whether it was Phillip Sims or Michael Rocco, got hit a lot. Big reason why this team had four turnovers today, but yet came through the world. Yeah, it's amazing that you can win with four turnovers. I don't care who you're playing, but uh, and especially against a good front like Penn State, their the front seven is pretty darn good. And uh, yeah, I was talking to Bill Lazor, and he's last thing he said before he left the stadium was, "I'm going to be watching a lot of film." So it, he was embarrassed that, uh, not only about the uh, the turnovers, but some uh, some really crucial penalties that hurt him. Uh, offensively, he didn't feel like they were crisp. Uh, they, they've got a lot of work to do, and it, you know, it doesn't get any easier from here out. The schedule just gets harder and harder, and they got to get straightened out, or you know, they're going to be behind the eight ball pretty quickly. Yeah, it's a jump into ACC play next week, going down to Georgia Tech. Obviously, some things have to improve. You mentioned the turnovers. On the other side of that, Penn State manages negative 14 yards and only three points off the four. Turnovers, just incredible stuff from that <laughs> that Virginia defense. Uh, Steve Greer leading the way with 15 tackles. Uh, secondary coming up with some big stops on that last drive, particularly uh, Maurice Kennedy with almost maybe a game-saving tackle late in that drive. So that defense really stepped up when it needed to. Yeah, we were talking about this last week how the pass rush didn't get any sacks, but we're starting to get there. They got there today, and they got some huge sacks. Steve Greer comes up with two sacks. They come up with some some great open field tackles. We, we were talking about that in the press box. The open field tackling was uh, was excellent today. Penn State certainly could have broken free there on that last drive. And uh, you got to give the defense credit. They were a big question mark coming in, and so far they've, they've been great the first two games off holding the uh, opposing offenses in check. I think Jim Dave, somebody asked him, uh, and I guess he's going to be looking it up for the rest of the day, but if Virginia never won with four turnovers before, it's going to be hard to find that statistic. But, Somebody researched the NFL real quickly, and I don't know how long this goes back, but uh, the record they found was four wins, 110 losses, and four turnovers. So that just shows you how hard it is to overcome those kind of problems. Sobo Tucker's looking that up right now. <laughs> <laughs> Nonetheless, Virginia does come through with, despite those four turnovers, a wide left on that goal post uh, right down there from Sam Fick and his fourth missed field goal of the day. Finally ends things here at Scott Stadium. Virginia wins, moves to 2-0, uh, takes down Penn State 17-16. That will do it for our week two uh, game wrap-up here on Cavalier Insider.